Vern Bell County, a clean nonprofit, says they've actually seen an alarming spike recently in domestic violence cases. Their crisis line, outreach services, and emergency shelter have all hit record highs over the past few months. The organization already stretched thin due to COVID-19 is relying on community donations and volunteers. 25 News reporter Leah McNeil is live tonight to tell us the story of one volunteer who took her service to the next level. Well, Naya, from the very first day Laura Tiffany Becker volunteered here at Families in Crisis, she knew that there was something special about this domestic violence relief organization. After only a few months of volunteering, she's now a full time employee here with the community continuing to turn to families in crisis for help. This organization will need Becker's help now more than ever. You really don't know what people are going through until you come to somewhere like this where you really see what's going on in other people's lives and how a lot of people do need help and you might not ever know. After overcoming childhood trauma of her own, Tiffany Becker feels she was always called to serve others. To help other people that went through similar things, went through different things. Um, I just wanted to bring awareness that it is a, a big problem and a lot of people don't really think about domestic violence or sexual abuse as large of a problem as it is. It's a problem that's only getting worse. Since March, Director of Programming Susanna Moore explains there has been a gradual increase in the need for all of the services they provide, especially on their crisis line. The calls have picked up. Have been consistently high since March, um, and we had a 20% increase in that in October. So we will definitely see over 5,000 calls this year. Amor says their outreach services have increased by 200%. And in October alone, they had 80 new clients using their emergency shelter, collectively totaling more than 200 shelter nights. Busier than ever. And of course, with, um, uh, with all this, this means we are using more we're, we're going through more food, we're going through um, more supplies. So, and, and those are things that we, that the grants generally do not cover. And that's where you can help. Amor says their greatest needs are baby wipes, hygiene products, and non-perishable food items. Even though everyone can commit to a full-time job after volunteering, Becker explains anything you can donate will go a long way. Um, it's a huge help. I mean, you're changing people's lives. You're helping you're helping people see the better versions of themselves. And it really is a humbling feeling to really help someone who is in need and to spend your time doing good and helping others. And with Christmas just a few weeks away, they are also accepting toy donations for infants all the way up through to the teens to make sure that the kids in their shelters have something to open on Christmas morning. Reporting in Colleen, Leah McNeil, 25 News. Leah, thank you. Since volunteers aren't able to gather in the shelter, some have taken it upon themselves to collect everything from coats, non-perishables, and toys. For more information and ways to help, visit KXXV.com. If you are someone you know is experiencing domestic or intimate partner violence, there is help available. You can text or call the National Domestic Violence Hotline. There's also a crisis text line and a National Child Abuse Hotline. The Family Abuse Center in Waco is also another helpful resource. The numbers for all of those support services are there on your screen.